It's so nice to be home again. I slept like a log. There's just nothing that compares to our jungle, is there, Baloo? I don't miss the savannah one bit. And I found my back scratching tree again. Traveling sure made me appreciate home, but I wish we hadn't had to say goodbye to Simba. I wonder how he's doing, and I wonder how in the world we made it home so fast. We were far away. If there's anyone who can help us figure it out, it's Augustine. That owl has an answer for just about everything. Right, but we'd better wait a while. You know how much he hates to get up this early. Order, please. Order, everyone. We have to keep this meeting short. I called you here to help me plan a surprise welcome home party for our friends who were in the savannah. They traveled a great distance to help Simba claim his crown on Kilimanjaro. What do you think about having a celebration in their honor? I have everything planned out, and I'm warning you, it's going to be hard work. Especially preparing enough food for Baloo. <laughs> I just love surprise parties. Augustine, I do have an announcement I'd like to make. The Black Panther has lost her three cubs. That's terrible. Keep me posted, and if they don't turn up soon, we'll send out a search party. They're as much trouble as my babies were. But nothing like Simba was. Now, if everyone's ready to get to work, I'll tell each of you what your assignment is. Where's the Queen Bumblebee? Hmm. <laughs> the bees had an extra large field of flowers to pollinate. Your Highness, could you do me a great big favor and ask one of them to come see me as soon as possible? No one? The place is completely deserted. I don't see a soul. Do you think they might be mad at us for being gone so long? Come back huh? here immediately! Do you hear me? Uh -huh. It's not funny! Ooh. Stop! <sighs> Where did they go? Huh? I know they're here somewhere. Hey, what happened? Coward! Huh? Move out of the way, Baloo! Why don't you calm down and explain what happened? I'm sure it's not so bad. They're just cubs, remember? I'm mad at the dragon! Actually, he's a prehistoric dinosaur, not a dragon. Whatever he is, he nearly destroyed my home, showing off his lightning. No oh boy. That's right. I was lucky to put out the fire in time. I'm very sorry about any damages, but it's not Flash's fault. He doesn't know any better. What? What Baloo is trying to say is that Flash is just a baby. He's not used to being inside someone's home. He's been living on the trail with Simba and us. And his lightning saved us plenty of times. Well, tell him to practice his flamethrowing on sticks from now on. <laughs> and start showing him the ways of our jungle. You did it for Simba and Buckshot. Do it with the dinosaur. We were planning to, but I thought he should get to know his neighbors first. Well, you thought wrong, Baloo. And don't you dare let this happen again. You have a nice day now. It's all right, Flash. I'm sure it was an accident. Don't worry about it. <laughs> not only do they not care that we're back, but we're already getting yelled at and put to work. They probably think all we've been doing is having fun. Great if he learned to talk. Do dinosaurs talk. Poor little guy, I don't understand what he means half the time. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Flash, come here. I just had a brilliant idea. <laughs> Listen. What do you say to that, little buddy? Let's get going. 
Even Ludwig's ignoring us. I get the distinct feeling something bad's going to happen. I've seen it too many times. Whenever Baloo starts whispering his ideas, big trouble can't be too wow. far. It's the best honey in the land. Once you've tasted it, you can't help but want more. See if you can find a hive. <laughs> I emptied that one out years ago. Follow me. I'll show you how to find one. The best honey is made by the bees near the lake. There's lots of sun and water for flowers around there. And clover, too. The bees go from flower to flower, collecting the pollen for their honey. Here, let me show you. I think it'll make more sense that way. There, look. Do you see the orange powder in the middle? That's the pollen the bees take to the hive to make honey. <laughs> it's not honey yet. They have to take it back to the hive to turn it into honey. <laughs> it's the best thing you ever tasted. We're getting close. What are you two up to? You know better than to disturb someone's nap time. But we were having fun. God doesn't mind. Uh, oh, oh, hello. Good morning, Ka. I'm so happy to have you back with us. Likewise, my dear. And I see you have new trouble. <laughs> yes, I do. This is Olga, and this one's Owen. I've told them all about you and Simba. So, you're a real hero? Not really. I was just helping out a good friend. When I grow up, I'm gonna have my very own kingdom. Then listen to your mother. She taught Simba very well. I'm glad you, Bagheera, Baloo, and Ludwig came back. But I wish we could all be together like in the beginning. So do I, but we can't fight destiny, can we? It feels good to know that our friends are where they are because we taught them so well. Is it true Simba can move mountains? <laughs> well, not quite, Olga. But he does have special powers that allow him to do great things. I knew it, Owen. You were just pulling my leg again. Don't pretend you don't do the same thing, Olga. You told me Simba went to the Big Dipper once. <laughs> <laughs> You'll show us how to be like Simba, won't you? Of course I'll be happy to, my dear. But you have to promise to be disciplined and listen to everything I tell you. And no more pulling on my tail while I'm sleeping, okay? Okay, right. Kai, when do we like start? Simba? Come on, you two. You've taken up enough of Ka's time. Let's get home. Now. From now on, we need to be very careful. Bees can be very temperamental. Watch where they go after they've gathered a pollen. Oh. Okay, let's follow them. Shh, go slow. We don't want to attract their attention. must have seen us hiding in the bushes earlier and decided to take the honey where we couldn't get to it. Hurry up, Flash. We have to get out of here. Ka, <laughs> have you seen Flash and Baloo? I've never met anyone who slept so soundly. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, sorry to disturb your beauty sleep, Cop, but I'm looking for Baloo and Flash. Do you have any idea where they are? No, I just remember Baloo whispered something about honey. He was whispering. This is not good. I know. You didn't hear anything he said. You have no idea where they might be. Oh, I can guess. Yeah, so can I. He's taken him off to steal honey. That's all Baloo's been talking about since he got home. Flash has already caused enough trouble. I know. You should have heard the earful I got about the fire he started. You should have heard it before Baloo calmed her down. But the bees aren't going to be so forgiving, I'm afraid. Once again, Baloo's stomach is going to get everyone in a heap of trouble. Our friends will wish we'd left him behind on Kilimanjaro. We'd better find him before the honeybees do. So delicious. <laughs> Here. Come on, Flash, we need to get out of here. Head for the lake. Bees hate to get wet. Flash! I'm afraid we might be too late. Huh? Flash is in big trouble. Oh boy. We have him. Ah, what did we do? Whoa! You should have stayed on Kilimanjaro instead of bringing this creature back with you. He's stolen our honey. It isn't his fault, honeybee. He's imitating Baloo. He doesn't know what stealing is. Well, why doesn't one of you educate him about it? Not that it'll do any good, because Baloo knows the difference, and he still steals from us. We're sick and tired of working to fill his bottomless stomach. He's not going to get away with it this time. We're going to take this in front of the Grand Council. Oh. Uh-oh. That bear is just never going to learn. You've really done it this time, Baloo. You should be ashamed of yourself, setting such a bad example for Flash. <laughs> Why can't you get it through your head? You promised the bees you wouldn't do that anymore, and here you've broken your vow. Shame on you. <laughs> a little higher. Keep pulling. <laughs> I think we've got just about everything ready. Well, I have a 
our mind to take huh? our honey and boycott this party, Augustine. Why, what happened? Baloo's up to his old tricks again. Well, that's no reason to ruin the party for everyone else. It wouldn't be the same without you. I promise we'll take care of this matter after we give them their surprise party. Bagheera, Kaa, Baloo, we've just been asked to summon you to the Council Rock. Oh, the Grand Council? The honeybee was serious. Mm. I hope you're ready to do some fast talking, my friends. Maybe I should have stayed in Kilimanjaro with Simba. It would have been easier. Oh, brother. <laughs> and I've probably gotten Flash in trouble, too. The Grand Council isn't going to treat this lightly. <laughs> You're just going to have to ask them to forgive you and hope for the best. Maybe they'll let you off easy this time. This is all my fault, little buddy. I only have myself to blame. Me and my stomach. Come on. You're the saddest punch I've ever seen! That's because we've been called to the Grand Council. Really? What did you do? Tell me! Let's just say that Bagheera and I had nothing to do with it. We're just two perfectly innocent bystanders. Let me guess, he was stealing honey again! You hear that, Flash? I've done this a hundred times, but it's never gone to the Grand Council before. Quiet, here they come. Hi. Oh. <laughs> That's strange. Where's the council? Are they avoiding us too? <laughs> we want him banished from here for You've had your warnings. He's a you promised thief. you wouldn't do this anymore. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome home! Surprise! Surprise! My dear friends, welcome back to our jungle. Oh. Burr! Welcome home! Burr! Wow, this wasn't the welcome I was expecting. What a surprise! And here we thought nobody cared whether we were here or with Simba. <laughs> We've prepared all your favorite foods. Welcome home! <laughs> this tub of honey is a special welcome home gift for Baloo and Flash from the honeybees. Enjoy it, my friends. Oh, I'm not sure I deserve any. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Right now, why don't you just celebrate? This is the greatest welcome anyone could ask for. Flash, why don't you come up here and have some delicious honey? It's all right, little one. We understand what you're saying, but we'll discuss the matter later. Yeah, and anyway, if anyone gets in trouble, it should be me because I'm the one who dragged you into it. You didn't know any better. You better get into it before Baloo eats it all. Go on, it's all right. Go on, little buddy. It wouldn't be polite to refuse such a gift. <laughs> What you think? Mm -hmm. Good? It's yummy. <laughs> the best in all the land. <gasps> Flush, you, you can talk. <laughs> oh. How oh, little Flash can speak? I heard. Can you see any other words? Sure. Any requests? Incredible. I can speak. I can speak. Oh! Oh, Flash! 
Ah! I'm so proud of you. <laughs> now you'll be able to understand everything I say. Uh -oh. This is going to be so great. We'll be able to talk about everything. Oh, goodness. I wasn't expecting anything this wonderful tonight. <laughs> it's beautiful. Uh -oh. <laughs> Maestro, how about a song to celebrate our friends? <laughs> If you want honey, just ask. <laughs> oh. Really? Of course. We don't mind sharing as long as you ask nicely. Please, Please tell, tell me, me I'm not dreaming. Now that's what I call a warm welcome. I'm glad you brought me here, Baloo. I would say the party's a smashing success. Little do our friends know that a not-so-friendly tiger is watching their celebration. Is he another Shere Khan? Find out in our next episode of Simba's Adventures. <laughs>